gentrifies the neighborhood. And we see how the Castro's become gentrified because of all these evictions. Because the banks were financing realtors to buy properties and flip them and make lots of money in the process. The bank makes money, the speculator makes money, and the poor people who are evicted are out on their ass with nowhere to go. Are we going to stand for this? Working people, middle class folks are losing their homes because of predatory loans from these banks. People who are part of unions. This bank charged me hundreds of dollars in illegal fees. On that the court has any predatory loans. A sheriff who's a member of my union Isn't a fire is losing her home after 40 years. I'm a mortgage from this bank of $100,000 in the water because of the law. They jacked up. Excuse me, can I ask you, did you, uh, did you hand them uh, any any paper yeah, or anything? I delivered them a foreclosure notice stating their crimes, um, what they've done to destroy housing in San Francisco, how they're taking, care, taking advantage of low income and second language communities to give them bad loans, to refuse to modify them, to how they illegally um, turned off the power on, in buildings that they foreclosed on where there were tenants in the building, even though it's against state law, how they're leading to additional, their practices have led to additional homelessness and job loss in San Francisco. And, you know, so I, del so I uh, read the letter through the window because the inside door was locked and I delivered it to... Hey, do you know who the letter was delivered to? Do you know who was there? No, I don't. I wasn't able to speak to a manager themselves because the cops are protecting the banks over anyone else in this community. So. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, okay. Any messages to the other occupiers? The other occupiers, we have to stand strong. You Good. know, like this is our community. And we need to look at our, reoccupy our communities and take on the 1%. Great. Okay.